watching people. Sometimes I make up stories for them, imagining what their lives are like. What ours would be like if... Writer. I want my picture in all the magazines. Maybe I'll be a movie star. I want to be different from all the other girls. I want to be a modern woman. I want to travel. I want to study languages. Languages and history. I want to do everything. I want to... Marie Frank. Chatterbox, aren't you, Miss Frank? Or perhaps you'd like to share your wisdom with us? A little essay, perhaps, entitled uh, Quack, 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 Went Mrs. Quackenbush. <laughs> Say 500 words. Due tomorrow. Next. The Germans are feeling especially generous today. Four stars for a single textile coupon. Must we be branded now, too? So it appears, and we must pay for the privilege.
Since you've never had to disappear, I'll try to give you an idea of our life. I call our hiding place the Secret Annex. And strange as it may seem, it's actually quite cozy here. You'd be surprised to find out that we're just above Daddy's office. Up the back staircase and behind a small door. Open the door, take one giant step, and voila! Daddy and Mummy's room is right behind the staircase. Margaret and I reside next door. We've even got a bathroom. Upstairs, there's a larger room with a kitchen. The Van Pelses sleep there at night, but during the day, it's a big living room. We have to stay upstairs as long as the workers are still in the building. Peter Van Pels has a room off to the side, much smaller than mine. And there's an attic for storage. There are warehouses on both sides of us and neighbors all around. We have to be invisible day and night. Still see light, sweets. At first, it was only Daddy and me doing most of the work. Mummy and Margot eventually got over their shock and started to help. Shirts. It was amazing to see how many of our things Daddy had managed to sneak away. I wasn't the only one who brought my memories with me. Daddy kept his old soldier's trunk. It was hard for all of us not to think about the life we'd left behind. I miss my old room, but at least I have my movie stars to keep me company. With a little luck, we can all be happy here until we go back home. And now our annex really is secret. Mr. Kugler and Mr. Kleiman had a bookcase built in front of our little doorway. You have to be careful when you go downstairs to bend down low and try not to bump your head. Daddy, will you please ask Mr. Pfeffer why he thinks it's so unreasonable of me to insist upon me being able to use my own desk? I have important work to do. Work, you understand? And besides, there are other places you can go. This writing of yours, you could do it in the attic, perhaps. It's only a diary, after all. A childish pastime. Childish? Now, now, you needn't argue. What I propose is this. Uh, Anne should have the desk, say, twice a week, from 4 in the afternoon until 5.30, and Mr. Pfeffer may use it the rest of the time. But, Pim... Are we agreed? We all have to make small sacrifices, Anne. You mean me? I have to make the sacrifices, and it isn't small. I'm not a little girl anymore. Mr. Pfeffer has a right to the desk. And don't I have rights? I work just as hard as anybody else here. I just don't want that man pouring through my private thoughts. That's easily remedied, I should think. I have it. Here. This will keep your diary safe from prying eyes. Thank you, Daddy. My little woman. Pardon me? Oh. Never let it be said that Anne Frank failed in her so-called studies on my account. I'll do it myself. And get rid of that cat. You look ridiculous. That you're wearing one of your mother's precious furs. Don't cough. I think it's beastly the way he treats you. I oh, don't mind him. 
He gets like that when he hasn't had his cigarettes. <laughs> I like it when you smile. Really? It sort of makes your eyes sparkle. They're, they're pretty eyes. No, I'm not pretty. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Well, you'll just have to believe me then. Ring for Marin could be dangerous. If he suspects something, there is a chance he could go to the Gestapo. The reward for Jews has gone up to 25 guilders a head. On the other hand, if the fellow's stealing, he's got something to hide as well. Yes, I think you're right. We have to be more cautious from now on, all of us. That was our last hundred guilders. What are we to do for money now? One of those fancy dresses of yours should be worth something. I'd like to see you try. Stop being a ninny. And don't speak to me that way. Whose fault is it we're in this pickle? Certainly not mine. Would you please stop arguing? You're like two magpies always bickering. And I don't see you offering to help. Please, to her. everyone. Accusations accomplish nothing. We're left to fend for ourselves while you keep all the money from the business. Don't you think my curly deserves a share of that money? Hmm? Where would you all be without his precious nose? I tell you, still making jam. See, I told you we should have taken in the Goslars. Oh, Edith, please. Is that so? Yes, it is. 